I'm Miss Reynolds and I teach AP Physics 1 and I want to strongly encourage any of you guys that are going to be taking um, any kind of STEM courses in the future that STEM as in science, technology, engineering, or math, uh, if that's something you're interested in, then AP Physics 1 is right up your alley and it would be something that you would have a lot of fun taking. It's very project based. We do a lot of labs. We um, do a lot of projects. We built, we've just recently finished building um, bottle rockets and last semester we built um, catapults. So physics, it's, uh, it's the study of motion, um, like projectiles through air, um, forces, um, accelerating an object, um, you know, things such as that. I came in here not knowing how hard it was going to be. I, uh, I did a lot of preparation in the summer and I came in thinking that this was going to be one of my easiest courses. Uh, but it turned out to be one of my most difficult, but it's definitely a rewarding experience because I'm able to see like there's nothing as easy as it seems. It's always going to be harder than it looks and the fact that I'm having to do so much homework and having to learn so much is really showing me that I'm able to do it. It definitely increases your confidence. It teaches you a lot about the world. I mean physics is everywhere. Like even me talking right now involves sound waves and many more physics that, that aren't even taught in the class. It's everything in this world is physics. So it's definitely an amazing course. I want to encourage anybody who is going to be taking, uh, going into any kind of um, college field, doesn't matter what your major is, to take AP courses. Uh, they save you a lot of money in the long run. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to take an AP course than it is to take the, the class in college. One of the best part of physics so far has been um, we actually, for our uh, projectile motion unit, we actually built a catapult and um, with, uh, we were in uh, pairs and with the catapult we launched, we launched um, a penny a certain distance um, using uh, like applying uh, trigonometry and, and math to the situation. It's a very rewarding experience. I uh, took another AP course last year and I love the prospect of being able to get college credits in high school. It decreases the cost. You have more time. You don't have to worry about driving to school and paying student loans when you can take in high school. So there's no point in taking more challenging courses, more expensive courses in college when it's going to be a lot easier to take in high school. Uh, and I, I love it so much that I'm taking two others along with physics. So it's, it's just really cool to me how I'm able to decrease the cost and do everything I need to, learn so much from the class, have an amazing teacher, and learn so much about the world that we live in today. Ms. Ronald's a really good teacher. She's, um, she's, she's good at uh, explaining things and um, she makes the class fun. Um, a lot of um, how you experience a class, at least to me, is through the teacher. And I think uh, Ms. Reynolds has done an excellent job of combining um, an apt uh, learning experience with a, uh, a fun environment. She's an amazing person. Uh, I, I, I think Ms. Reynolds is definitely one of my favorite. Uh, anytime I need help or anything, she's always there. She gives me worksheets. She gives me uh, practice problems. If I ask her for help, she doesn't only give me a solution and then walk off. She's going to help me out. She's going to stay after school with me if I need to. She's going to give me problems. She's going to give me worksheets. She's going to give me practice things so that I don't only know the concept, but it's mastered. I can teach it to someone. I can show someone that has no idea what physics is and they can master just the way that she's letting me be able to become so proficient in that topic. So she's definitely an amazing person. Being able to earn college credit in high school, um, it's an excellent opportunity because uh, you're able to keep the, uh, the cost of uh, the credit for a college course down from like however many dollars to like a hundred. Um, and it's definitely a great um, learning experience and um, a great way to challenge yourself as well. And even if you end up going to a college that doesn't accept AP courses, which all of the public schools in Texas do, but if you end up going to one that doesn't accept AP courses, it still looks really good on your transcript. It looks better than K and L classes on your transcript because it means you took classes that prepared you for the rigor of college. And colleges know that if you take AP classes, then you're more likely to be successful in college than if you did not take AP classes. And so Physics 1 is a great class. Uh, it really teaches you to think on a different, in a different way and problem solve in, in ways that uh, your future bosses and, and uh, colleges want to see you learn how to think. And so I hope to see you there. Thank you.